This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. We have been in John chapter 19, and today we're going to kind of launch from John chapter 19, verses 23 and 24. Those are the verses that talk about uh, the Roman soldiers that were gambling over uh, Jesus, well, his robe and then his uh, his tunic. And uh, uh, so uh, that's the, the passage in, that uh, basically says, uh, that fulfills Scripture, and I, I I find it interesting in verse 24 that says, uh, they said, let's not tear, but cast lots to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the Scripture, which says, they divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. And I thought, you know, there are so many um, prophecies related to the cross, and I thought this would be a good time for us to take a look at some of those prophecies. Now, literally, there, there may be a hundred prophecies or more just related to the cross. Uh, there are so many prophecies in the Bible just related to the life of Christ, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds related to the life of Christ. But just for the cross alone, there's just a, a huge amount. And I thought, there's no way we can go over all of them. So I said, let's go over 30 of them. And then as I got busy in the lesson, I thought, there is no way I can finish 30 prophecies in one lesson. You know me well enough to know better than that. Uh, and so I kind of narrowed it down to 18, and I don't know if we can get through 18 or not, but I'm going to try. I want I want you to take a look at at these prophecies because they they speak so much about um, what God is is up to and and how God works. Now you know this is a little different from our normal lesson. Normally I like to take scripture and and kind of study it verse by verse and dig into it and find the application. But today I want you to catch a glimpse of how detailed and controlled the uh, crucifixion was by God and how God had planned it all along so that he could redeem man and restore uh, restore man uh, to a relationship with God. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.